Yeah, I mean, God can forgive you, but men don't have to. You, you would agree that men <laughs> in general yeah. should not date women that had OnlyFans accounts. It's not ideal. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, uh, to quote St. John Vianney, the saints didn't all start well, but they all ended well. So, fascinating topic for today's video. The traditional conservative values of marriage versus the red pill movement personified. You may be surprised about where I fall in this debate based on some of my other videos. Let's get into it. What, well, what percent of women do you think are marriageable? What do you mean by marriageable? Not, no tattoos, no debt, not overweight, um, do, doesn't openly hate men. It, it's not the majority, Michael. What's the number? They, these are confirmed by an actuary. It's less than 5%. All right, wait one second. I get it. Beauty is harder to come by. 40% of women have tattoos. It's very trendy. One in four are overweight, also trendy. But the red pill boogeyman is that women are going to divorce you, ostracize you from your children, and take all your money. Weight and tattoos are not indicators of vengeful bitch syndrome. I think the far greater plague upon women is liberalism, because liberal, college-educated women are far more likely to get divorced. This disease has taken the minds of 44% of women between the ages of 18 and 29. If you rely on Pearl's superficial standards, you may miss out on a good wife and get a vengeful bitch instead. Further, based on Miss Pearl's standards, most American men would also be unmarriageable. It would seem to me, if you don't want to get divorced, not marrying a liberal woman is a good place to start. Fact check, true. Men are in little rough shape because of our modern culture too. Wait, before that, please like, subscribe, and join the channel if you're enjoying the video. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. A lot are addicted to porn, a lot have hooked up with a lot of people, a lot of kind of indulged perversions and things like that mm -hmm. doesn't make them particularly marriageable either. But it why, is it, why is it whenever we say something about the women, we have to say but men? Because your entire brand is shitting on women. The number one way people are meeting under 30 is dating apps. No. You, you know, I mean, this is a completely different dating marketplace than when you were dating. If there was an abundance of wives in church, Michael, the men would be lining up to go. These days, can one find a girlfriend who's never texted a naked picture of herself? I don't know. Don't like <laughs> women do this all the time now, and then it becomes a big scandal when they get. Yeah. Like, so those do those women deserve to be wives? Imagine for two seconds you're a 16 year old girl in 2024. <laughs> Kids struggle to make eye contact, then have brutal fights in the cafeteria. There are boys in dresses, girls in pleather. One boy tells you you're pretty and that he's in love with you. All you have to do is send him a little picture to prove you return his love. So you do it. Whoops, sorry, no marriage for you, you stupid whore. Have you ever made a mistake in your life? Never? Amazing, Jesus Christ in the flesh watching my video. Who would have guessed? But this is my point. You know, you're not gonna appeal to men by shaming them into marriage. I'm not shaming like, anyone, I'm just, I'm just recommending. But I've heard you guys say things like you're not like a real man if you don't get married. I've heard this. Men have certain ends, we have mm. certain goals, right? So mm. one of them would be we wanna have children. This is not just a preference, you know, de gusto bus no disputando mest. This is a, an aspect of the natural but law. But don't, don't you think they should follow their purpose and God first? That is part of their purpose. Okay. Uh, no, I don't think so. That's, <laughs> what do you mean? I don't think men's purpose is women. I think men's no, it, purpose having is, children, sir, is, is well, why? I am both obstinate and intolerant on this issue. Both men and women's purpose is children. Of course it is. What else would it be? Building a business? Traveling? Video games? You're going to abstain from the one thing every one of your ancestors did because you've cracked the code on what masculinity is. Forgive me for being skeptical. And the best environment to raise children is in a happy little two-parent household in the suburbs, not some harem compound in Romania. You say men should follow their purpose and should follow God. I, of course, agree. Men and women are, by our very nature, inclined toward marriage. I think that in the current market, there are just not enough wives to go around. There, there are not enough wives to go, women that deserve to be wives. Hmm. You, you'd agree on that, right? I, uh, maybe I would agree, but okay. I don't know exactly what you mean by it. <laughs> okay, um, do you think men should have standards? Yes. Do you think it, it's, it's 
okay for them to want a woman that's in shape? You think that's an okay standard? Good. Yeah, it's good. Okay, a, a girl that's religious. That's Would you say that's that's good? Okay, necessary. but that's not but that's not the majority. That's but, not the majority. So what are men supposed to do in the meantime? They're supposed to convince the women to get in shape and get religious. <laughs> Pearl's argument is that modern women are not the women of yesterday. Well, where did those thin, tattoo-less, debt-free men lovers go? My hot take? The men of yesteryear let them turn into harpies. If high-quality men demanded more of women, the women would change. Women are like water. We go with the flow and take the shape of the container we're in. And right now, our container looks like this. I'm currently a fiancé, so perhaps I have an interesting perspective. Am I going to divorce my future husband, turn the kids against him, and take his money? Nope. Am I fat? Nope. Tattoos? Wouldn't dream of it. I'm not perfect, but I do in fact exist. The problem is, if you spend all your days watching Pearl's videos, you'll never find your own. Funny how that works. Thanks so much for watching. Click here to watch more videos like this. Click here to learn more about the foundational ideas of our country. And click here for the stuff the feminists really, really, really don't like.